हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द कोर्स डिजाइन ऑफ वन मेगा वॉट ऑन ग्रिड ग्राउंड माउंटेड सोलर पावर प्लांट रिसेंटली वी हैव लॉन्च दिस कोर्स एंड वी हैव डिजाइन द कोर्स फॉर डिजाइनिंग ऑफ वन मेगा वॉट ऑफ ग्राउंड माउंटेड सोलर प्रोजेक्ट वी आर बिलोंग्स टू द रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी स्टडी ग्रुप सो वन बाय वन वील गोइंग टू बी सी एक्चुअली हाउ टू जस्ट वॉट एवर द सिलेबस दैट वी हैव कवर्ड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स एंड हाउ टू टेक दिस कोर्स ऑन अवर वेबसाइट so basically this course is having the total 20 hours of a duration which covers all the necessary parameters starting from the selection of components of a solar power plant up to the detailed design report and proposal writing so it is a online self paced course on the website so we have a website renewable energy study group dot in so on this particular website you will find this particular course and you can select this course also you can visit our store renewable energy study group dot in and slash store so here we have more than 30 courses we have published on the solar energy so now we're going to be discuss about the subjects uh, i'll be going to tell you the brief about myself i am a bwe certified energy manager i am a solar power plant consultant i have published more than 30 courses on the solar power plant designing i am a doctoral researcher fellow in the solar power plant designing I am a professor of renewable energy in Mumbai University and the founder of Renewable Energy Study Group. So now we are going to be discuss about the detailed syllabus, what parameter has been covered in the particular course. So the first parameter which is covered in the course is the site selection and the site topography. So whenever we select or whenever we design the solar power plant, we have to collect some information regarding the solar power plant, like the where the site has been located. geographical location of uh, of the site from the google how to just find the latitude and longitude uh, in terms of a coordinate then collection of a solar radiation data from pv gis software which is a photovoltaic geographical information system then we'll going to be see the area assessment in the google earth software how to measure the area in the google earth software drawing the 3d sun path chart diagram and the solar contour on the online software so basically in such a way we can just plot the 3d sun path chart diagram and from that we just came to know how the position of a sun will be on the particular latitude on longitude then selection of the substation and collection of the substation detail so where we are actually feeding the solar electricity into the substation so what is the distance between the site and the substation what is the basic capacity of the uh, substation so that parameter will going to be discuss here thereafter we'll going to be see the plotting of the uh, site layout on the autocad so here we'll going to be introduce one autocad software so here we'll going to be see after measuring the area on the google earth software and manual measurement how to draw the diagram in the autocad and further parameter second parameter we'll going to be discuss is the design and sizing of electrical components so here we'll going to be talk about calculation of number of solar panels selection of panels and the solar inverter and their reading of the data sheets calculation of maximum minimum and optimum number of an solar panel per string basis calculation of number of solar panel for the dc input connection to the inverter voltage and the current of each combiner box and the dc inputs connection of the solar strings so here we'll going to be talk about we going to be develop the diagram in the autocad and how we can able to connect the solar panel in the string what will be the voltage at the end of the solar string how we can able to connect the solar strings into the one combiner box and how we can formulate one array we'll going to be talk about more points on electrical components like the string monitoring box connection of the solar combiner box to the inverter dc and ac cable sizing dc side protection breakers transformer designing and the controller uh, control and relay panel isolator switch vacuum circuit breaker auxiliary transformer and lightning arrester so here we'll going to be see how to size this particular component how to draw this particular diagram which parameter we have to focus when we select the control and relay panel how to select the transformer and the cabling size on this particular transformer up to the crp panel what is the specifications of an vacuum circuit breaker that we have to be select then how to we see the dc isolator switch uh, ac isolator switch on the ac side for the high voltage transformation 
then we have a current transformer selection then we have potential transformer selection auxiliary transformer selection and the solar meter selection so all these parameter in brief will going to be discussed in the various calculation parts and we'll going to be focus on these points thereafter we'll going to be talk about a, a new point that is a design of the site plan and the solar array placement on the autocad software so basically we'll going to be uh, focus on the autocad software here how we just going to plan the site where we have to place the panel where we decide where we have to put the inverter room then have a control room transformer and the crp panel so here we'll talk about planning and placement of an solar module preparation of an solar array placement of an solar array dimensional analysis of the overall structure location of an inverter transformer and the crp panel and their planning location of the switchyard cable routing and taking print out of the solar power plant in the autocad software further we'll going to be talk about the point on the design of the 3d plant and the shadow analysis in the google sketch of software so here we'll going to be talk about the google sketch of software how we can design the 3d plan and the 3d design of a overall solar array we'll talk about preparation of an module mounting structure preparation of an foundation construction of an solar panel and texturing placement and orientation of an solar panel over the module mounting structure construction of an solar array construction of an control rooms importing the location details in the google sketchup software shadow analysis of an solar power plant in the google sketchup and generation of a 3d design report in the sketchup further we'll going to be talk about the parameters on design on circuit diagram in the autocad we'll going to be see how to construct the circuit diagram in the autocad so there we'll going to be talk about some point like preparation of an solar panel array construction of an dc combiner box construction of an inverter and joining with the string combiner box drawing the electrical symbols of transformer and other equipments cable specification crp panel and relay numbering electrical representation of the current transformer potential transformer and check meter and plotting the circuit diagram into the pdf format next thing we'll going to be talk about is the energy yield estimation of an solar power plant so here we'll going to be talk about calculation of an energy yield considering the minimum and average radiation falling on a site monthly energy generation by the solar power plant in the excel sheet then energy generation by the solar power plant in the 25 years also in the excel sheet calculation of p75 and p90 estimate plotting the normal distribution curve so all these parameter regarding the energy generation and energy created by the solar power plant in terms of the kilowatt hour that will going to be calculate over here further we'll going to be talk about design of the earthing system so here we'll going to be talk about the soil resistivity earth cable sizing earth strip sizing dc and ac side of an earthing individual earth pit resistance resistance due to the earthing strip then the parallel resistance number of earth pit selection and the safety design of the earthing system we'll going to be talk about the point regarding the design of mounting structure so here we'll going to be see how to design the mounting structure in the three dimensional way in the google sketch of software we'll see about the autocad how we just design the 2d dimensions of the mounting structure here we'll talk about selection of an mounting structure talk about selection of an foundation type components of an mounting structure design of an 3d mounting structure in the google sketchup setting the tilt angle of an mounting structure and the solar panel and orientation of an solar array next we'll going to be talk about the parameter like the weather monitoring station so which is been required or essential part in the utility scale type of an solar power plant so we'll talk about ambient temperature sensors then pv panel temperature solar radiation sensor considering the pyranometer wind speed sensor wind direction sensor rain gauge and the humidity sensors so whatever the parameters are required and their specification in detail we'll going to be talk next thing we'll going to be talk about the scada for 1 megawatt of an solar power plant so here we'll going to be see in the scada how we just going to design it we'll going to be introduce about the scada system and their major functionalities and we'll going to be see which parameter we require to be monitor under the scada system like the lt panel and ht panel breaker status 
then the solar monitoring box data including the string current and the total string current and the power inverter data including the ac and dc parameter inverter status weather monitoring station monitoring including the radiation and accumulated radiation daily data auxiliary panel uh, monitoring including the auxiliary consumption st panel incomer relay data and the outgoing relay data incomer mfms and annunciator alarms and the trip status and the co2 suppression and the fire alarm status so all these parameter whichever required to be monitored and how we just uh, have a design approach for the SCADA systems. Next thing we're going to be talk about the proposal writing for one megawatt solar rooftop and the ground mounted type of an solar power plant. So here we're going to be see in the proposal writing what parameter will have to be right in the ground mounted project like the scope of work, technical specifications, list of the equipment, tentative project schedule, payment terms, then the price code, terms and condition and the warranty terms. We're going to be draft this particular proposal writing into the word document format and we're going to be see what parameter exactly will have to be include while we are writing the proposal for the consumer. Thereafter, we're going to be talk about the detailed design report for one megawatt ground mounted solar power plant. So here we're going to be see how to draft the detailed design report, whatever the necessary parameter that is there, like from the site selection, then the electrical component selection and all other parameter, how to able to one by one draft this parameter into the word document and how to prepare the final detailed design report. Next thing we're going to be talk about the financial modeling of one megawatt solar power project into the Excel sheet. So here we're going to be talk about in Excel sheet, uh, how we can design the financial parameter of an one megawatt of an solar project. So we're going to be see the formulation of a model. We'll see the different financial terms and the project funds. We're going to be calculate the profit and loss account statement, tax calculation and taxable income. Then we're going to be calculate the internal rate of return, payback period, net present value and equity turn around the project. We're going to be see the graphical approach of plotting the equity turn around the project. We'll also see sensitivity analysis if the tariff rate are changing as per the PPA term and the further parameters. So all this financial Excel sheet will going to be seen in detail in this particular one megawatt course. So once again, we're going to be welcome to this particular course. So do select our course, which is a design of an one megawatt of an solar project. So it is an online self course. So anybody can do this particular course. No basic knowledge is required before selecting this course. You can directly select the course and further all the parameter will going to be clear one by one, whichever components that will going to be discussed in the uh, overall course. So this is our website as we have discussed renewable energy study group dot in. So you can visit the site and you can select the course. Now we're going to be see how we can select the course on our website. So we'll see the demo of it. So uh, I'll just select this particular website. So just select this particular website. I'll going to be give this uh, website detail into the description box also. So from that also you can select this website. So we just open the Mozilla and we're going to be place this uh, website details and enter. So once it has been entered, the main website will going to be open. We're going to be see how you can select this particular course. So this is our website. So we have more than 30 courses on the solar power plant. So on this particular website, you will have to sign in first as per your mail ID and the mobile number. So you can just click on the sign in command. And here we're going to be sign in over here. So I just use my reference login. So once you have been sign in by the uh, your name and the email address and the password, then this main your account will going to be open over here. So once your account has been open over here, we just click on the store. So you have a my library, then you have a calendar and all that. So you just click on the store on this particular store. You just search for design of one megawatt of an project. So this is a design of one megawatt ground mounted solar power plant with case study. So you can select this course. And here in the enroll now, you can just select this course actually. So once you have just click on this enroll now, so it will going to open the overall proceeding checkout. So just click on the proceed payment if you want to select this particular course. So once you just able to select on this proceed the payments, then uh, through the uh, after the payment actually automatically this course will be credited in your account. So once this particular course after the payment has been credited, 
So this course you can find into the my library terms actually. So I just opened the websites over here. And after the selection of this particular course in the my library, you just see the overall course has been credited. So like that, you can just able to select this course. So if you have a course, uh, any kind of a doubt regarding the course, the contact number is given in the description box. So you can just go to the description box and you can just select the course. Thank you for watching the video.